Hey, welcome back to the Happy Place Diaries, another do-it-yourself project out here in the trailer. Stick around, this one is all about comfort. Hey, welcome back, this is Jerry, and uh, in this video we're gonna talk about uh, creating a more comfortable environment in your sleeping area uh, by insulating this cargo area. And I put a some reflectics in there a while back thinking that was going to do it uh, not not cutting it uh, when cold air starts going into this compartment it gets really cold so we just went and bought some quarter inch insulating foam board we're going to cut that down to size and we're going to put it inside the framing here and we're going to take you along with us so uh, this will be a good project, and I'll tell you why uh, we decided to do this. So on our last outing, we had the grandson with us, and he was in the bed, and kind of pushing me up against the walls. Well, those of you with pass-through storages know that these walls, and this wall right there, well, that's the bottom of the bed. And as I rolled over and touched the wall, I noticed that I was feeling cold air. So we're gonna put that foam board in, right in the framing here, and I'll get a close up. And uh, that will not only quiet things down a little bit, not that we have a noisy compartment, but it will definitely increase the R value in there. And we're not adding really any weight uh, to the trailer. So first thing we need to do is get all of this out. Okay, so as you can see, a while back I put Reflectix in here, and all I did was duct tape the, the, this Reflectix in. It's, it's, you know, it served its purpose, um, but this wall right here, uh, right behind this wall is our water pump. Right up here is my wife's closet, and right here's the bed. On my side, since I don't have the pump, I get nothing but uh, cold air in there. And so, look at this, the pass-through storage here. <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this paneling and fill in everywhere there's Reflectix, and then I'm gonna do it up here. Because what I can do is lock it in between the frames here and the same thing in here. So, so what we're gonna need for this project is I've got the, the foam core board. I've got a measuring tape, a black Sharpie, an X-Acto knife, and I've got some all-purpose adhesive that I'm gonna glue these panels right in and that way they won't shift around. All right. Okay, so first panel that we're gonna worry about is this one right here. And we're gonna go 21 and a half by 14 and a half. I'm gonna go measure, cut that.
Okay, so that, that's measured out and that should fit right in this little panel right here with little or no issues. And I'm gonna put, oh, I don't even know if I'm gonna have to adhere that. But there you go. Okay, four more panels on this side to go, and then we'll do the top. Twenty-five by fourteen and a half, and twenty-one and a half. Twenty-five and twenty-one and a half. So after I did the uh, first one, I decided to go ahead and leave the reflectix in because why not? It's just extra insulation. It's not going to hurt. This is the one, this is the side that really matters because this is where there's nothing on the other side other than my dresser. So, uh, there we go. Perfect. All right, that looks good. I think maybe I will maybe duct tape these angles or these right here into the frame. Yeah. And then we'll worry about getting these covered. Okay, looks good. So while we're in here, we pared down a lot of stuff that, you know, we haven't used in a year or so. And man, do I have a lot of space in there now. And I'm not looking to fill it. Nice and organized. Now that is a happy pass-through storage compartment. All right, feels good. Got the panels up here against the wall where we uh, feel the air coming in. We got the upper panels done uh, that are above our sleeping platform. Didn't worry too much about the middle ones and I didn't worry about the ones that are like right here. I got part of this one, but this is where the closet is. So um, that to me wasn't uh, as important as getting uh, the side walls in right here. Uh, they're locked in pretty tight. Now I just got to load everything back up and uh, this project's going to be good. I do think I'm going to come back in and just uh, do these edges along the frame with uh, duct tape. I really don't need it, but I might do it. I don't know. We'll think about it. Got to get everything loaded and uh, we'll call this project done. Hey, if you found any value in this video, don't forget to uh, go ahead and uh, give us that thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment in the section below. Tell us what you do to insulate your trailer or your fifth wheel or whatever it is that you're traveling in. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and do all the things. And remember that a happy life starts in a happy place. We found ours. We're motivating you uh, to find yours and get the most out of your RV. We'll see you in the next video.